Hey, we're back on the river today. This is the uh, first real hunt for me of the season. Uh, I come down here every year in the spring before the grass gets green and all the bushes grow up. And I just eyeball for relics along the riverbank because there's usually a lot of erosion down here after the floods. But this year, like the past couple years, it did not flood at all during the winter. So I don't have high hopes again. Uh, although even last year it was similar to this, but we did find a few things. So I found some really cool things down here in the past. But I've only been you know putting this on video the past few years. So you didn't get to see any of that. But you know we'll give it a shot this year. Again, it just doesn't look real good. Our best hope is going to be if we can find one of these washouts where there's a little bit of current action against the bank, like maybe right over there or something. Uh, but you know, you can see just looking here, it has not come up at all this winter. See all the leaves and stuff on the ground right there? Those should be wiped clean if the river had come up past that. So, not high hopes, so but we'll see what happens, man. Hold on your hat. Here's a couple shotgun shells there. You can see one's fired, and the one on the upper left there has uh, been dropped. So it's kind of interesting how I find a lot of Civil War bullets that have been dropped, and there's a uh, shotgun shell that has been dropped as well. So it does happen. Another shotgun shell. That's just a hole right there. Yep, just the hole. Yeah, I just saw a goose fly up from behind this log over here. It's probably got a nest. Just take a quick peek. Oh, look at those eggs. Wow, I won't go too close to it. Yeah, that's a nice nest. Only problem is, is they are nesting right on the water's edge here. And uh, in fact, you can see them sitting up there in the river right now. And if it floods at all, those eggs will get washed away. The last couple seasons, in fact, uh, that's exactly what happened, so. Being awfully quiet. Now this is kind of what I'm talking about. If you look at the ground right here, it, uh, it's just not white clean at all. There's a chain. That's obviously been there for a while though. It's been exposed, but you can see all these tracks and there's lots of leaves. And uh, like right in here, it's where it's been freezing and thawing. You can tell the way the soil looks and uh, all this loose soil, that should be just completely white clean if it had flooded here recently. And this winter, it didn't flood hardly at all. So this is a hot spot for me. I think we'll be lucky if we find anything today. There are some nails and stuff exposed here, and this is a, a broken bottle. I guess it's an old beer bottle of some kind. Well, it looks dangerous, huh? I guess I have to lay that like that. There's something green. See it down there? You always want to keep your eyes open for different colors like that. This happens to be a 22 shell. It's obviously not that old. There's more nails, bunches of nails in here. That could be either from a building that was above us or just where stuff has washed down in the flood. Okay, since I'm having terrible luck today, I decided what I'd do, you know, is take a stick and go along and just work out some of these cracks. See how this crack is right here? Okay, there's the uh, riverbank right there. So anything that's washed off that riverbank may have come down here in these rocks and gotten into these crevices and sunk down in these crevices. So I started, I took a stick and I started digging around a little bit in here and I can see all kinds of nails. So I'm hopeful that there might be something good in here. Here's a nail. It's a big, uh, it's a big screw of some kind. Now that's a modern nail there. See, it's round like that, but that's an old one there, so. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and just uh, scoop around through here a little bit and let's see if we can find something. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and carve this all back in, but look at all the nails. And there's got to be a hundred nails and screws and stuff in there. Now, if you had a metal detector and you went over this, you would never ever hear anything good in there. Um, not that they appear to be anything good in there, but just goes to show you that, uh, man, it's amazing what's underfoot. Just under just a slight layer of mud and uh, a few rocks. Here's somebody's little campsite up on a small island here in the river. And uh, they were probably in here last summer. You can see where they had their fire and whatnot. Here's a bucket where they've been collecting stuff. I guess kind of like I am today, except they're collecting uh, electrical stuff. That's really weird, huh? Now why would you do that? Is this stuff worth anything? I mean, they didn't carry this down here, obviously, because we're way out in the, away from any roads or anything. Boy, that's strange. 
I don't know, maybe there's some money in that as far as uh, recycling, I don't know. These are some of those electrical outlets. Like those guys that were camping, were collecting. I don't know why they were collecting those things, but uh, they get washed down here from docks and uh, people's trailers and stuff. They get flooded in the winter time. But uh, boy, I tell you, one third down and uh, not looking good. I'm well, I do see a bullet. Um, it's not a Civil War bullet, it's a modern bullet, but at least it's something. Can you see it? I'll zoom in for you. Right in the center of the screen. That's probably a little 22. Yeah, that's just a little like 22 bullet. You can see the serrations right here in the grooves. That means it's modern. At least it's lead. Get a little closer. That big tree there has some nests in it. And those nests are uh, great blue heron nests. And they get together in colonies. And sometimes there'll be 15 or 20 nests in one of those trees. Underneath those trees, get, it just gets really stinky where they poop and stuff. Um, horrible to metal detect under. In fact, I have some really good video from one year when I was uh, detecting under it and finding some bullets. And there's stuff plopping in the water all around me. I don't know if I ever published it or not, but if you look in the upper right hand corner, you can actually see one of the great blue herrings uh, sitting there just kind of looking around, checking me out. So I'm working my way down along the bank here and I heard this little chirping noise. And I looked up and there's a bald eagle up there flying around. Obviously not happy I'm here. Listen to that weird noise they make. Doesn't sound like the typical bald eagle you hear. Of course, in the movies, what you hear when they show the uh, eagles flying over are um, the screeches of red-tailed hawks. That's what they use in the movies. Can you hear them squeaking? And if you look in the tree right there, there's a nest. It's a great big bald eagle nest right there. So I'm going to move on out of this area. Don't bother them anymore, but it's a squeaker. The big old tree that the beaver tried to cut down. This thing's huge. I don't know if he's still working on it or not. Doesn't look like there's any fresh cuts, but uh, here we get that baby down. He'll eat for a year. This is a nice target rich area right here. There's some uh, old pottery and lots of pieces of brick. This stuff's old right here. This might be a good area. There's an old beef bone. Let's see where it's been sawed and eaten. See where they cut it there. This is kind of cool. Now this is from an iron furnace. This is a rock. Uh, it's actually, well, it's actually glass. It's man-made. Pretty much like obsidian. They come from iron furnaces. This is part of the uh, waste product uh, with a sand melt. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of that around here. There's several iron furnaces just up river from me. But it looks like a really good area. There's a lot of iron in here. An old spike. That's a nice old spike right there. So we'll eyeball this pretty close. These little holes in the rocks are pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of these when you've been on the rivers. You can see how it's kind of really smooth and round here. And what that is is where these rocks in here go swirl round and around and around. See how smooth they are? They go round and around in there when the current's high and the floods and it eats a hole right down through it. And I've seen those three feet deep before. That's how that is. If you look around, you see a lot of them. There's an old one there that washed out, and an old one there. You can see them in the rocks here, so that's pretty cool. Well, I'm getting real near the end here. I have not found a single Civil War item or anything that um, is very old. I think about the closest I'm going to get to is something Civil War is this thing right here. They go softball. And I say that only because it's round like a cannonball. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you can yell at me for tossing it back, but you know, there's a lot of trash down here, guys. There's a big old snapping turtle here um, in this little pool of water. I suspect it's dead, though, because I think it would have moved by now with all the noise I'm making. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> Looks like its eyes are open. Oh, it's alive. Yes, it is. It's alive. I guess he's just sunning himself. I'm going to poke him with this here stick, just so you can kind of see how big he is. Look how big that boy is, huh? He's a nice one. 
I'm not gonna poke him any more than that because he's just trying to get a little sun just like me, so. Hey, let's do an underwater video. <laughs> this ought to be good. I'll probably lose my fingers, but. wasn't too scared I'll even be okay that's it for me today uh, this is my worst trip down here ever I didn't find a single thing I wanted to keep um, except for the softball but I'm not gonna carry that out of here <laughs> so, uh, yeah not too good but we did see a turtle and some eagles and a few other things so I'll throw a video together even though we don't have any relics hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed being out here and I need to get this pasty body out of the Sun <laughs>